Okay, the refreshment tables, you say. I think we passed uh, the refreshment tables. That's where we got uh, some refreshments, right? <laughs> A lot of people here. Um, Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. Looks like that's a candy box. A gift from the Sintri. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him twice. Whoa! Follow the scent, huh? Whoa, whoa, what is that? Just give me a second here, guys. Hit a fist tag. Artists way of numbing their existential pain. I do not even wish to comment. There's something here. A love letter. A love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Oh, my amour, my sunbeam flittering across the firmament of my life. <sighs> Treacly refuse. <laughs> Laura, oh my dearest love, O oh lone ray of sunshine on my on the firmament of my life, I shall speak from my heart. For weeks I have been shooting stolen glances in your direction. Hiding in hope, I dare nurture deep within my bosom that perhaps you feel for me even more iota of the affection I feel for you. I have waited long, gathering the courage to confess my feelings for you. I would certainly be waiting still had not you appeared at tonight's soiree in the company of that womanizing, carousing, drivel scribbing, pretentious pig named Alphonse de Reside. Uh, when I saw that emaciated turd fawning over you, I immediately knew I had to act. I turned to the best weapon in my arsenal, the quill and the well-turned phrase and began writing you this letter. Forgive me, it is written on a napkin, for I had nothing more appropriate at hand at the time. O oh, most marvelous of all women, do not believe a word he whispers in your ear. He is as slippery as a viper and twice as venomous. Reject his advances and let me walk hand in hand with you, feed you grapes, and with you radiate happiness to the heavens themselves. Yours forever, Fabian. Okay. The great rock. But he's a dancer. Okay, where's the okay, here we go. Okay, we're on the right track here. went here we have a bodyguard of course sorry only artists in the mandragora allowed come we must consider what to do I I'd recognize that voice anywhere uh oh you you must be mistaking me for someone else I served 15 years in the palace your grace I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh! Not so loud. We are here incognito, on state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? Uh, first of all, don't tell anyone you've seen us, please. I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Okay, have you seen Cecilia? Looking for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. Mm -hmm. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent. Oh, a that's him. All of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Okay. Quickly, upstairs. Yes, ma'am. Um... Please? It is 
here. Please tell me she's not. No. That must be Cecilia. No way. Damn it. No pulse. We're too late. He, he slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't mm -hmm. split up. Get up. I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. I don't like this. We shouldn't split up. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. It seems like he just slit her throat. Can't get. Okay, is there anything else in here that might be useful? Ah, uh, well, nothing. Just stuff to take. Uh oh. Bloody handprint. Mm -hmm. It's his. Okay, so it is. It's a human. Tore down the door. Made a platform. Clever. Broke the flower pot. Must be pretty strong drawer. too. And stepped in the soil. Okay. Footprints made by soiled boots. Must have climbed this ladder. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Blood stains. I can't hear anything though. Whoa. Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard and sank to the floor. Jewelry box. Locks busted. Picked open, probably. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Valuable stone. Jewel. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this, must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. The hell does that mean? Did he get out through here? He got out through here, right? Yeah, I think Sconce so. Sconce is bent. Smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it? Wait a second. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Hunting knife, richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Whoa, 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 Canvas what is this? is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Yeah, the knife that we just found. Okay. Okay, let's see. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out? Fall out? Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. Who got in his way? They fought, struggled, that's clear. Yeah. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. Whoop. Oh, that's okay. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Yes. Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. 
Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Okay. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did oh. you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He... Fell out of the window. Hmm. Just so. Yeah, it was kind of imprudent of you to just attack him like that. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like I just said ornament, it that he could have overpowered you an and killed you. Effective as a blade. Okay, okay. Fair point, fair point. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. The heart of Toussaint. What, what is that? Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. <laughs> is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntime. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. What is Duntine? Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. Okay. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. <laughs> Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. What do you think about Oriana, yeah? Oriana. She's a little bit thoughts? strange. You make me feel awkward. But in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. Yeah. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. 
that somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. Yeah, that's what I was thinking myself. It... it could be something else altogether. What do you mean? My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. Excuse me? She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Why was she banished? What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Cur what? Parents run afoul of some mage. Cursed how? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had. That he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. No way. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Wow. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Hmm, and but okay, so you think she's involved in this? Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess mm. satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. Mm hmm. Okay. her safety unfortunately especially if she's one of those responsible for these crimes witcher that was not a request mm -hmm. your grace Geralt I'd like to introduce Regis what a surprise I had no idea you were in Beauclair and this is uh, my very dear friend Detlaf van der Eretain an uh, from we are lending what? our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? Whoa. They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Okay, Oriana is um, freaking me out a little bit, and the fact that Deadlaf is here is freaking me out as well. 
seem surprised. Why? I never would have suspected Regis to find common ground with a Witcher. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Detlef isn't mm. saying anything. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Mm -hmm. hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. For what might the monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Mm -hmm. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. I have if to I say, guys, correctly, his voice kind of freaks me out a little bit. Kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Will I help, Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. Okay, this is... Wow. The tension, man. <laughs> An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detlaf believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. Okay. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Hmm. Okay, how do you know Oriana? Oriana? she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, uh, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another... She's not human, is she? Uh, Oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Yeah, she's not human. What is she? Oh, Jesus, is she another vampire, damn it. Okay, um... Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess Hopefully. expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Uh -huh. I mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Unless you already Garrett, heard us. You must trust me. I've got away with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Detloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detloff. Good luck, my friend. Okay, Regis. Splendidly, Detloff. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back! It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. <laughs> Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis. Gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace. Always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? Uh, of course. Hmm. 
I wouldn't want to be picking a fight with these three or two, at least because Regis have is on our side. Friends. This Detlef, an intriguing man to say the least. Mm hmm. I know. Tell me about it. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much. But I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Hmm. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count de la Croix's mill. Okay. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Yeah, Captain I know where it is. and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Storm the castle? Okay. Well, we have our swords back. Okay. So, let's uh let's have a look here. Well, not here, but here really quickly. Characters. So, Oriana. During the soiree organized by the Mandragora, Gerald met Oriana, a valued patrons to many local artists. There was something about this woman that made most who met her feel somehow ill at ease. She could not break the witcher's iron hard self-composure, of course, but she did give him the impression she was no normal aristocrat, and his impressions were usually spot on. Okay, so if she is if she is another higher vampire, that's gonna be trouble, first of all. And I'm thinking that she might be a higher vampire because of the fact she doesn't have um our um medallion, sorry, that's why our medallion didn't hum or didn't do anything because otherwise like Geralt would have said something right so yeah and also both did laugh and Regis know her and she said like liter she knows Regis for literally ages so yeah uh Siana si or Sylvia Anna oh here we go a lovely name don't you think this beauty should come as no surprise given it's the name of the daughter of the Duke and the sister of the Duchess of a Duchess. Yet the fate Siana, as her intimates called her, met was not as beautiful as might have been suspected for one so well born. Though, as it turns out, she had in truth been born rather inopportunately. She came into this world during an eclipse and thus fell victim to the panic surrounding the curse of the Black Sun, which was said to affect young girls from ruling families birthed in similar circumstances. That's what it means, okay, because I didn't know what the curse of the Black Sun is. Though Geralt had serious doubts whether this curse truly existed, many claimed it caused horrible mutations which filled its victims with cruelty and a desire to kill. <clears throat> Sienna's parents certainly seemed to be among the believers in the curse, for they deemed her too dangerous to be allowed to remain at court and forced her into exile. Sienna then fled to Nazir and soon, for all intents and purposes, dropped off the face of the planet. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, curious to see if, uh, if she is actually going to be um at that castle that we're going to storm to be honest to send a witcher against the beast. but um let me just get back into gear here like so and yeah now let me let me just give me a second here we need to meet uh, at midnight right but before we we actually go there and and do all that um, we might do some some other stuff uh, in the meantime because yeah because why not 
Okay, uh, I'm going to actually cut this one here, guys. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue in the next one. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.